And blocked out into the hands of Daniel House Jr., who's in transition and is fouled. A little different scenario for him driving the ball to the basket since that was yeah. a fast break. Rotation in the second half the other night, playing in that second half to your point. And Pull up three for Wancho Hernan Gomez with his first points of the series. And they pushed it in transition for an easy one. 22 minutes of play in four games, and Hernan Gomez is now on the board. Green answers. Right back at you, and a run. Offensively, that Josh Green is playing with right now. Clarkson in the paint, leaves it short, but taps in his own miss. Very athletic. Excellent tip in. Clarkson recording second chance points, something you don't necessarily expect. As Luka drives against Daniel House Jr. and puts. That's why he's able to come back because he's not a guy that that's going to use a lot of athleticism. He's just going to attack, like Clarkson just did. On the bitch, I might add. Mitchell scored 12 in the first quarter. Mavs are shooting 29% for the floor in this game as Clarkson has the last three baskets now for the Jazz. He's on free throws. He's one for two. As he returns to the bench. He had a nice contribution. Two points, four rebounds, three blocks. The rebounds and the blocks, obviously, the key component of his contribution. Gobert a rebound after Finney Smith blocked Bogdanovich, and the ball knocked away from Gobert. Gobert, remember, has two fouls. So anything that happens what, with what him. What are they I'm curious to what they're calling. I think a loose ball foul on Thomas Bertans. Here's Finney nice Smith's block. block. Yeah. Outstanding there. And then the off arm of Bertans is. Yeah, I, I didn't see that initially. And possession is ruled to have been gained by Berton, so it's not a loose ball foul, it's an offensive right. foul. At least that's what they've announced here in the arena. They get, they get a full 24 seconds, too. Yep. And it's Mitchell against Bullock. Mitchell has seen a lot of Reggie Bullock and Dorian Finney Smith in this series. Mitchell, nice change of direction. Wow. Yeah, that's great footwork that time. You're talking about a Euro step. A Euro step with a very difficult attempt by Mitchell, who's really made his presence felt in this first half. Again, Utah extends their defense. Dinwiddie had to go way out to get himself around Clarkson. And then Bertans in the corner with an in-and-out three ball. A foul on the Mavs. On Bertans, I think. Third game foul in the quarter and third foul in the game on Davis Bertans. The Mavs have two big men off their bench who have been good three-point shooters in this series, and both of them have three fouls, Bertans and Kleba. Just a, a foul that he didn't need to get that time. Working inside, Bogdanovich fouled Dinwiddie. I don't think I've ever seen Bogdanovich work on the block as much as I have in this particular series. He's really had a lot of success with his back to the basket, just backing down Dinwiddie. And Woody got caught with his uh, hand in the jar. And I must say, surprisingly here, look at Bogdanovich's reaction. They're not going to have three free throws out of this. That is a surprise, but all is well that ends well, right? I concur. It's four fouls in the quarter on the Mavs. Donovan Mitchell, 4-3. Well, he takes a lot of bad shots. He makes them yeah. sometimes, but that was an ill and bad shot that you could get any time. Try by Brunson. Bump by Bogdanovich. You know, sometimes in, I remember Pudge Rodriguez was the guy that this was always the case. In baseball, you can be a good bad ball hitter. You can swing at a bad ball that's out of the zone and still make contact and do something with it. And that's uh, when you said, when you thought about Mitchell's bad shots, I thought, thought about bad ball hitters in baseball. Yeah. Mitchell's a bad shot taker, but he can, yeah. to your point, make plenty of those. 
And hey, you know, in the you, end, he's 5 of 10 today, 50% for the floor. You probably have so many awards, right? You know why? Because you could go baseball and make an analogy <laughs> in a basketball game. That's how good Mark Followell is, you guys. That might, that might have been way off track. People might <laughs> nah. be it's like, what in the nah, hell is Followell nah, 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 talking nah, nah, about? Nah, nah. <laughs> you made it make sense, brother. Well, Dallas needed those points. It seemed like it had been a month of Sunday since they'd been on, been capable of scoring. It was up to a 10-point lead for Utah before the freebies made by Brunson. Gobert stuck like Chuck underneath. He finally found an escape outlet in Royce O'Neal. And O'Neal able to fake off the defense. And then there was a little lane for him to go to the hoop and score. Yeah, there was a wide open player in that corner. So that's where the, the, the defense ran to. And Royce O'Neal ended up getting a bunny underneath the, the hoop. His first points of the game. Brunson, no good. And it went through Finney Smith's hands, but the offensive rebound falls to Jalen Brunson. And Brunson puts it up and scores. It's a good job. Heads up play by Jalen. Did give up on the play initially. Didn't have anything, but. Eight points in the game for Brunson. That was his first made basket. Everything else has been at the free throw line. There's a score for Clarkson. Leave is back in the game despite the three fouls. Got hit in the face in that sequence. There was no foul, but there was a made basket by Clarkson. He's got 12, and the lead is 10. 